And who am I with today? You are with Naida Presley today. Good, the, the queen of Summit U and Frog Town. Well, I don't one know about the queen, I'm one of them. Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm just one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, Naida, I know, has children, and I know that she's had to cook some children. <laughs> and so, what is one of the themes that runs through the stories today? I mean, people, where they learn, where they learn to cook, and if they were able to teach their offspring how to cook. So, where did you learn to cook? Actually, I learned from my mother, too, probably like most folks. I learned from their mom, moms or their grandmas because there was people in our family. They had their special recipes or their special traditions. They had a lot of times you always wanted to learn how to fix that, that good taste dish that only they could make or when you had your little family gatherings. Yeah. That was around food. They had to bring that dish no matter what else exactly. they could cook. Exactly. Right, right. <laughs> so yeah, for my mother, my daughter learned from me, and, and not only just learning how, because my son learned how to cook too. Oh yeah. But not only out of trying to learn how to cook, but also because as working parents. Uh, it was important that they help out, that they were part of the family unit, so they had to either start the meal, get it washed up, get it seasoned up, and then I'd come home and finish it, and then sometimes they had to finish it themselves, because yeah. working and getting home late, this way they could eat. Put it, it could be working for you. It don't take nothing yeah. bad, yeah. Like well, like you know, another thing about Naida. She hasn't said this yet, but, but Naida is the director of the Aurora St. Anthony Neighborhood Intelligence Corporation. And so I know that you've seen food as also another crucial part of community development. And you have to be considered. Absolutely. Food to me is. And so that, that's all it People is. coming together, and, and it's a part that we never think about in terms of building those community connections is fellowship. Uh -huh. And food to me is fellowship. Exactly. So it gives an opportunity for people to have a common ground and a shared vision right away. Because I don't know too many people that don't like to eat. <laughs> I don't care if you're a vegan, you're a vegetarian, you're a steak only eater, not pork eater. Food is food. So when you got food, I think there's it plays the whole round for fellowship, <coughs> opportunity for conversation, Absolutely. and and doing that, that building, that that connectivity, that that whole community spirit. And I think you get more folk out when you say, "Hey, we got some food for you." Absolutely, <laughs> Come absolutely. On down. And you know, <laughs> what Naida just did is also talk about, describe the themes of the community meal for all of those same reasons. <laughs> no, thank you. But I have one more thing. Oh, please, I know you yeah. were talking about what's some of your uh, special food stories. Yeah. Um, I have really two because in our family, you know, when I talked a little bit about that special dish that a family member cooked. For us, when we were growing up, me as a kid, it was really important about those special holidays. Um, and we all lived, this is a Rondo serve. All, all, most of my family lived on Rondo. And we always went to the house that had the most kids, because they had the biggest house. But I remember getting together with all my cousins and all my aunts and uncles around food. Again, it was around food, but it was the, um, that type of fellowship. It was at one time I knew I was going to see my family, see my cousins. And so food, it, when I was growing up, was really um, an important uh, time for folk to gather. Exactly. And then the wor it's sort of the uh, worst story in terms of food for my daughter. We all love fish. We are seafood, crappy cities. My family is fisher people. Uh, local all, fish. Local. People, people, we didn't call it local then. But no. That, yeah. But we, uh, I mean, we are fish eaters. And my daughter developed an allergy to fish. Uh, and one day we're all like 
Um, I was at work that day, and they're at home with their dad, and they had cooked up, you know, this batch of fresh fish. This day, my daughter was sitting down eating. She said she kept kind of feeling like her lips were getting bad. All of a sudden, she just blew up like a fish, looking like a fish. And she lives right down the street from And from that day on, she's like about 13 or so. She could not, she could eat fish anymore. And she just hates it. She just dreads it. <laughs> and so <laughs> we all love okay. fish, but when it's her, when we're having that thing, yeah, you're around winter. fish. It's certified. <laughs> She's not included. <laughs> Well, actually, I don't know if I should be laughing at that. No, because she could die. Really? So that's my fish story, okay? <laughs> it's not. And it's the truth. Thank you. And you are welcome. Thank you.